Hi, I'm Sierra, and welcome to the Wolf News Network. We have many exciting news stories, so stay tuned. Up next is the book of the week. Let's see what book Ms. Leroy has chosen for this week. Hi, I'm the 99 here with the book of the week. How are you today? Doing great, thank you. What is the book of the week? The book of the week is The Outsiders. Who is the author? The author is S.E. Hinton. What is the book about? Well, this book is set in about the late 1960s, and it has two gangs, Soch, the, the Soches and the Greasers. Um, if you're a Soche, it means you're kind of preppy, you have a lot of money, and a Greaser are the people who have to work really hard to survive. Um, oftentimes, they're the school dropouts. And in this story, the two get into a fight, and someone is killed. And Pony Boy and Johnny have to go on the run, and um, basically they come across a lot of adventures, and it's a story about living life to the fullest and being the best person you can be regardless of what circumstances you're brought into. Why do you advise CTMS students to read this book? Um, it's great because it has different social classes. It's got um, two gangs in it, but it's really more of a story of hope. All right, thank you. You're welcome. for more than a week found in Mexico with an accused child molester. Tonight, that North Richland Hills teenager, Ruby Contreras, is back home. CBS 11's Shari Williams spoke with Ruby and her father, and this is an interview you're seeing first on CBS 11. She'd been gone for more than a week, but Ruby Contreras is finally back with her family. I'm glad to be home. The 14-year-old had been missing since April 24th. She went to school that day, but never came home. Police say the teen had secretly been talking to Stephen Andrew Cox, an accused sexual predator living in Ohio. The two met on a social media site. I mean, I was basically brainwashed by him, so or obligated. So I didn't have much of a choice. Police say the 26-year-old enticed her and tricked her into running away with him. Came by bus all the way to this area, met her at her school, got back on a bus. Just like that, Ruby was gone. A break in the case came May 1st after these images were released, showing the two at a convenience store in Abilene. From there, authorities used bus records and surveillance video to determine the two got off the bus in El Paso. Little did they know, the two had left El Paso and crossed the border into Mexico by foot. Authorities in Juarez, Mexico, had seen the media reports, spotted the two, and detained them. I'm very happy. She's coming back. She's my baby. I'm really happy. The family gave Ruby a new puppy as a welcome home gift. The teen says this scary experience has taught her a valuable lesson. What have you learned from this, then? Do not talk to strangers at all. This family breathing a sigh of relief as Ruby is home tonight. Police say that this should serve as a warning to all parents and say don't think that this can't happen to your child. As for Stephen Cox, he's in jail in El Paso waiting to be extradited back here to North Texas. He's facing kidnapping charges. We're live in North Richland Hills. Shari Williams, CBS 11 News. Hi, I'm Sierra, and I'm here for the Spotlight of the Week. What's your full name? Mary Ann Lemon. What college did you go to? I went to the University of Texas at Arlington. What was your college mascot? I'm having to think it was a maverick. What were your college colors? Our college colors were blue and white. Do you have any advice for CTMS students? Uh, don't think, take it, everything so seriously. You know, kind of be lighthearted and uh, to try your very best. Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Hi, I'm Destiny Montemayor with CTMS, and here's your sports fact for the day. At Colleyville Middle School Stadium, the Lady Wolves soccer team played in the season first game against the Lady Colts at Colleyville Middle. From the opening kick, the Lady Wolves controlled the ball and maintained possession of the Colts' end of the field behind excellent passing from Peyton Broussard, Lindsey Jenkins, and Hayden Nolling. The few attempts by the Lady Colts to advance the Lady Wolves' goal were turned back handily by the stout defense of Abby Golseth, Sierra Black, and Jessica Martin. The hard award goes to Michelle Cansino for an excellent stop of potentially game-tying breakaway by the Colts that ended up sealing the victory for the Lady Wolves in being the final player of the game. The Team Player Award goes to Barrera for positive influence and encouragement of her teammates all night, exceptional leadership on and off the field, and truly inspiring efforts on both sides of the ball all night. The Top of Defender Award goes to Sophia Martin and Abby Brown, who played fierce and fearless defense all night, flying to the ball and covered not just their assigned areas, but seemingly wherever the Lady Colts tried to attack. Lady Wolves soccer team played their second game of the season against the Lady Broncos of Heritage Middle. The Lady Wolves played an amazing soccer game and a shutout the Lady Broncos, winning decisively 3-0. The Lady Wolves got on the scoreboard first with a goal barely three minutes into the game with Libby Rumbelo. Libby, Libby fought for a ball in the air, controlled it, split two defenders, and deposited the ball past the diving goalie in the back of the net, giving the Lady Wolves a commanding early lead. The hard award goes to Lindsey Jenkins, who had, was persistently attacking the Lady Broncos' goal, continually pushing the ball upfield to teammates and fought aggressively for possession on any balls that were up for grabs. The Team Player Award goes to Alan, Allison Trotesky, who played very stout defense all night and was relentless in pursuing the ball and trying to advance it forward to our teammates to start runs the Lady Broncos' goal and keep the ball away from our own goal. She did a great job of leading by example and always striving for the best throughout the game. That final score ended up being 3-0. to zero. Congratulations, Lady Wolves. We'll see you next week.
because of piggy slop. No matter yet, I tell my like all the Schwarzenegger. Try to play me out like yep in my name is Sega. But I ain't going out like no young snitch. Get used to one style, yo, and I might switch. It's up, up, spin around. If I fuck you down, put your head in or wake up in the dawn of the dead. I'm coming to get ya. I'm coming to get ya. Spitting out lyrics, homie, I'm with ya. I came to get down. I came to get down. So get out your seat, jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Jump, 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 j